Star Wars The Force Awakens opens on December 18th. I'm excited about it. I imagine I'm probably more. Have you seen the movie all the way through yet? Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about it? Are you allowed? No. It? Have they told you don't say anything? Yes. They do. And do you get angry when they say don't say anything? Because you're no. like, of course I'm not going to say anything. You do what not. Is what is there to say? Uh, what happens? And why would you want to say anything? I want the audience to experience it. I don't want them to hear anything about it. Yeah. yeah. But wouldn't it be funny with all this excitement, all this anticipation, if right now you just tell us what happens from beginning to the end of the movie? <laughs> I mean, just start at the top. Oh, okay. And ruin the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone seems to be wondering why Luke Skywalker isn't on the poster. Do you have any knowledge of why that is? He's not. There wasn't room. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a very good reason. What is the reason? I can't tell you. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't tell us anything about it. Nothing. <laughs> I can tell you this. What? It's really, really good. And when you say that, you mean it. Trust me. <laughs> it's really good. Is it true that... The, 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 the new cast, uh, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, uh, Adam Driver, Oscar Isaac, are phenomenal. J.J. has made an incredible movie. You will not be disappointed at all. I promise you. I've heard this from uh, people here who would tell me the, the truth if they knew otherwise. Who do you like better, George Lucas or J.J. Abrams? And I'm not just talking about working. I mean personally. Or... <laughs> or Donald Trump? <laughs> or Donald Trump, yeah. Oh. Rank them in order. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I love them all. You love them both? Uh, listen, uh, George has been uh, amazing to me. He's been the... <clears throat> the author of the uh, early chapters of my life. Sure, yeah. And, uh, and um, given me the opportunity to have a really extraordinary uh, life. JJ uh, has uh, uh, given me a chance to, re you know, to, to have a really uh, wonderful part in a great movie. That's great. Now, is it true that you asked George Lucas to kill Han Solo off during the, uh, the original, the first three movies? Not personally. You didn't uh, personally ask? No, no, I didn't ask him to personally kill me off. <laughs> I asked him to ask the writers to kill me off because I thought that it would be good that the character who appeared to have not so much of a, of a complex interweaving with the with the with the theme of the force and and all that good stuff <coughs> excuse me <laughs> you are a you must be a beer sausage <laughs> I, uh... bad boy <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it would be good that the character would would um, uh, if he if he sacrificed himself. Right. Uh, are you some, glad now in that in some noble way? Are you glad that you did not that Han Solo did not get killed off? Yes, I would think so. Yes. <laughs>